Hey Z Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Before You Buy video. So in this video, we're going to review backing ramen bundle. So uh, use the timestamps to maneuver through the video. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to buy it right now. Boom. And uh, I'm going to try to build build these at my camp and at the shelter. So I'll show you where you can find each uh, item in the building menu. Right? Wait, what the hell? It disappeared. Really? That never happened before? I actually wanted to kind of read through. <laughs> Lol. Ah, so for now they disappear. Great. That is something new. So essentially what I meant is uh, I'm going to first try to build these things at the camp and the shelter so we can understand what we can build at our camps and the shelter. Then I'm going to show you in the building menu where you find the specific item. And uh, yeah, so let's not waste some time, jump right into the video. Alright, so a quick bundle review. The bundle is actually really nice and uh, I'm going to show you why. <laughs> it's, actually in the it's actually good. So the first item we're going to take a look at is the Robco Snow Machine. So the cool thing is, uh, first of all, you can build two of them. So you have, uh, you can see one in the background. Uh, you can locate this item at the appliance section in the building menu, and you can have two of them. So if you're wondering how the hell I did that, I was just testing if they drain the same budget as uh, the smoke machine. So if you have any, so I've sticked in there. Uh, the Halloween uh, smoke machine it actually looks pretty dope. <laughs> Boom. Well, uh, the actual snow machine, well, it would have been cool like if it would like m leave a mark of some snow on the ground or something. I don't know. In the end, we just have a just like a smoke, smoke happening. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's like smoke. I mean, look at it. <laughs> The, the, the difference is just too fast. Oh wait, you actually have these uh, snowflakes dropping. That's actually pretty cool. I take that back. It would be cool if they could stay on the ground though. <laughs> but man, probably would crash Bethesda servers if that would, would, was to be the case. <laughs> Alright, let's see if you can build this thing in the shelter. So, by the way, as I said, you need to connect them to the power in order for them to work. And limit to Alright, so the good news is I was worrying about these ones, but turns out you can actually build those at your shelter. So that's how the item looks like. And it's actually pretty cool because it does make these snowflakes and they're like good visible at the uh, shelter itself, right? So for instance, if the snowflakes are here, there's nothing here, so you can put something like that for example and sort of your entire room becomes like a snowflake room so I, I believe a lot of youtubers like cam builders out there will definitely f find some really interesting ideas on how to uh, use these items and I mean it's a pretty good item I, I actually enjoy it very much alright so the next item we're looking at is the uh, mechanical uh, book king Brahim right uh, you can build eight of these so as you can see boom boom you can have your friends writing it that's actually pretty cool pretty cool animation which I'm going to show you in a second so you can build three of these I mean eight of these and you can find it in the misc structures so you just scroll down and that's going to be the first item over here on the list and uh, essentially once you build it you can interact with it and actually go <laughs> check this out, that's actually pretty cool Hold on. Photo mode is unavailable? Yeah! <laughs> that's, pre that's pretty cool animation though. Come on, man. Why can't. Ah, oh, there you go. You can use the photo mode. I imagine having eight people doing this, this right thing. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. 
<laughs> Lol. Well, whatever the case is, so far these two items are actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. In oh wait, hold on. Let's see if we can build this in the shelter. Alright, so looks like we can build the ride at the shelter as well, which is pretty cool. And by the way, I must say, uh, this item might be an exclusive item of this bundle, because when we were taking a look before I actually bought the bundle, that all other items were available to be purchased individually, uh, but this specific item was not included. Uh, so I, I assume that this is uh, an exclusive item for this bundle. I might be wrong though. Uh, since the patch notes aren't, weren't delivered on time, I can't tell for 100%, but I'm like 99.99% .99 sure that this is an exclusive item of this bundle, which is actually also pretty dope. <laughs> oh, look, I actually just noticed it's got some sparks go going on. <laughs> pretty cool. Alright, so the next item we're taking a look at is the Wasteland Snowman, which you can find in the floor decor section. So you're going to have to scroll down. There's a lot of scrolling down to do. Well, for me, that's the case because I have a whole bunch of stuff uh, within my game on my character, right? A lot of Atomic Shop stuff. Uh, but you should find it without the need of scrolling to the left or right, whichever. And actually, it's also animated. So, for example, if you interact with it, you can see his broom glowing fire, man. That's actually pretty dope. So, right now, that's... Uh, three items and all three are animated which is actually pretty cool I must say pretty cool let's see if you can uh, build this at the uh, shelter alright so here we go and the uh, the wasteland snowman is also you're able to build them uh, at your shelter but by the way I've noticed that not only is it animated but uh, th it also makes uh, some sound as well but it's like more of like Halloween stuff you know it kind of scares like spooky but if you listen closely they are making sound <laughs> so that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so the next item we're going to take a look at is uh, the Volt Boy Snow Globe Lamp. So it's uh, you can find it in the light section and uh, where all of your sort of, uh, you know, these lamps are. So you're going to have to scroll through all, everything that you own, including all of your atomic shop, like the fish, aquarium, and stuff like that until you find it so also it is animated so you can turn it off like for example and turn it on have in mind that you do need the uh, like this connector like electricity in order for it to work uh, then let's kind of zoom in like that so we can see it better it kind of small though but still it's, it's cool it would be really wicked Bethesda here's an idea for you uh, like Fallout 70, like Fallout games, uh, like involves a lot of collection. So if you could like uh, release these type of items, for instance, and have a year on it, that would be a pretty damn cool idea. Like for example, uh, 2021. Then next year we're gonna have something different, some other stuff. 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025. Catch the point? But actually, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it is, it is, it is cool. I mean, look at that. Detailed looks to be like normally working. <laughs> nothing is popping out. Nothing is exploding. Nothing is crashing. So let's see if you can build it in a shelter. All right. So we're in a dark area, and this item does not seem to make a lot of light. <laughs> actually, no light whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you remember in shelters we don't have uh, an understanding of gravity, so this thing is floating. But you can't do that in the camp, but you can do that in shelters. So uh, that's how it looks like. It actually looks pretty dope at dark. And as I gave an idea about having uh, 2021, for example, 2022, and stuff like that, that would actually be pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, the item does look cool. 
uh, I like it even though it's not making light so it shouldn't be maybe considered to be a lamp maybe like uh, I don't know a collectible by the way it does eat up budget uh, which I forgot to mention since it is located in the light section it does eat up the light budget which kind of sucks right so for example if uh, we have this item right here which generates light right but it does not uh, consume light budget right so they could have done these things not name it as a lamp because it, in reality is no lamp because it doesn't like really produce a lot of light it, well let's let's be honest it doesn't produce light at all so they could have made it like uh, a vol boy snow globe right and put it instead of the light into the lab budget make it as the floor decor and uh, that would be cool like it wouldn't eat up the light budget because we have 50 and when you're building a camp and something big you know and you're trying to make it like you know a lot of light shiny and stuff like that uh, 50 sometimes is definitely not enough depending on how, how big is your camp so uh, Bethesda that's an idea for you, you might want to consider it two, bright, two good ideas and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will, will agree with me uh, here but nevertheless the item is actually pretty cool and the the final item within this bundle is uh, the Volboy nice uh, 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 the Volboy elf long gnome right uh, so there's actually three options uh, three of them the, th the three variants and uh, let me kind of show you where the location is and then I'm gonna use the photo mode to show you so if you own like the dead claw statue or the uh, power armor statue right it's in the same field so you'll need to scroll to the right and you will find all the three uh, versions of this thing although uh, like these statues they kinda like stick with the classical column these uh, those gnomes don't so you can build as many as, as you want um, bam see so that's actually pretty cool so let me use the photo mode in order to show you how they look like and uh, to be honest uh, they kind of good <laughs> uh, they are though not animated so I try to interact with them, but these guys are not animated. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. They're even giving you a tip. Don't you see it? Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can build this at the shelter. And this item is also buildable at the shelter. So it's actually pretty cool. I built only two of these. I'm pretty sure it had more than enough to see that it's actually a good item. Uh, to have but you can also build it at the shelter which is actually nice so all of the items you can build them. <laughs> all right and this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you want your comments to be read uh, feel free to comment your negative positive feedback uh, just don't swear simple as that and if you're new and you subscribe well welcome to Z clan I'm gamer Z Saul from Ukraine so hi from Ukraine once again thanks all for watching this video if you like uh, you can join our uh, discord we're currently over 800 members an active discord channel where we all have fun uh, with also additional game chats for other games as well but mainly it's Fallout 76 stuff uh, but essentially once joining our discord make sure to read our rules go to the uh, get roles and uh, apply uh, specific roles so you can see the chats that you want to see so if you want to see only follow 76 stuff click follow 76 icon and you will see only follow 76 if you want to see other games click other games and it will pop uh, an additional category with other game, other games, single player, multiplayer. Uh, that you can, all, we can also chat. You know, kind of like play together, share experience, and so on. Uh, if you want to get access to the trade, uh, then you will need to accept the rules. Without accepting the rules, you will not see the general chats, nor will you see the trade chats. The trade also has rules, so read those rules because you will get banned if you don't follow those rules over there. And there is a loyalty system also in place, so before you get access to more trustworthy uh, trade chats, you will need to be a little bit active on our Discord. Everything is written over there, so if you join, 
look them and uh, read everything it's very explanatory if you got questions just ask me or or the guys over there will definitely be more than happy to explain how everything is working out over there anyway I'm gonna start rumbling here and uh, once again thanks all for watching this video um, all other links are down in the video description and I'll see you on the next video bye from the